The Dex Legacy is intended for a mature, adult audience and contains themes that some may find upsetting. A comprehensive list of trigger warnings covering the entire season can be found in the show notes. From early childhood, Dex children are raised to compete. The stakes are high. Endurance and cruelty are rewarded, while any perceived weakness can lead to death in training, or worse, injury, reassignment to medical research, and slow death in the lab. In order to survive, the children have formed strong bonds, forged from a powerful combination of grief, pain, sacrifice, near-constant bickering, and regular rounds of ritual humiliation. Season 2, Interlude 2, Telling Tales, starring Raki Sharma, Danny Scott, Danielle Ellett, Reginald West, Stevie Skinner, Ray Whitty, and Emily Inkpen, with music by Alan Stroud. You couldn't hit that lizard if it was one meter away, let alone 30. And you could. Is that even a question? Actually, Shiv, it is. Faris, you're a sniper. It doesn't count if you have all the gears and sights and tech. Lady Shiv, Faris would hit that lizard without it all. I have no doubt. Thank you, Haindos. You have skill. It is truth only. (laughs) I'll take it. With all the tech, you could hit a centimetre long bug, let alone a 50 centimetre lizard. It's not fair competition. All right, leave me out of it then. I still don't think you could do it. It depends on the weapon. Gun, knives... Or... Bow. I'm not Adra. I don't use those things. Raya, 50 centimetre lizard from 30 metres away. Could I hit it? Can you throw a bomb that far? (laughs) Ash couldn't hit it, and Shiv's saying she could. Sorry, Shiv, but no. Not a chance. Ah, Raya, I'll show you. What about Haindos? You kidding? The ground shakes whenever he takes a step. I am mighty, it is true. Lizards run from me. But I have no business killing lizards. You are mighty. And missing out on a lot of fun. Wait a minute. (laughs) Are you seriously suggesting that we go back out there and take it in turns trying to kill that thing? Little warrior, where have you been? Pax, what have you got there? I killed the lizard! (laughs) So you did. Well done. Um, but did you have to bring it back here? Yes! There's no way you'd believe me if I didn't, and you lot are so annoying how you always talk and talk and talk, and I knew you'd just talk and talk about killing the lizard, so I thought, okay, why not just go and do it? So I did. How did you do it, Bex? That is between Little Warrior and the lizard. That's right, big guy! Hindos, what is it with the nicknames? Nicknames, Ferris? You know, the names you give everyone. Pax is Little Warrior... Shiv's Lady Shiv, Isra's Little Princess, Ren's White Princeling. Ah, sometimes I see a better name for a person than the name they have been given. Why White Princeling? I mean, that's the most obvious. He's so pale, he's almost transparent. He's just blonde. No, Lady Shiv. I am blonde. He is white, and his skin is white. He is a bit weird looking. He is a beautiful man. He simply lacks pigment. You're telling me you have a thing for Ren? No. I have eyes. And no truth when I see it. Why, Prinsolin? He has been raised in a palace. That kind of upbringing can affect how a person carries themselves. 
but Varian is just Varian. Varian is his own man. There is no concealed or unknown truth within him. It is the same with you, Ferris. I'd count that as a compliment. Where's Ezra? Where's Varian and White Princeling? <laughs> They'll get here. It's only the likes of us who have to be on time. They could be with the North Jackron Command. Or on a call with the President. Or sent off on a top secret mission. They'd tell us if they were doing that, Pax. No, they wouldn't, Ash. When we were in Dominar, they went off in the middle of the night to take out the rail that brought supplies to the rebels, and they didn't tell anyone. They just went and did it. Isn't that when Ren got captured? Yeah, it was. They get commands from the President we never even know about. What do we do, Ash? Just wait until they get here? Or go and do something? I'll go see if I can find them. And now we wait. Do you have somewhere to be, Ferris? <laughs> ha ha. Do you think we should cook the lizard? It seems a shame to waste it. Sure, Shiv. As long as we're not chasing through the mountains because those three got themselves captured. If they are captured, we can only hope they survive. And we find them in time. Agreed. A lizard will be the least of our worries. Ash, what is it? I couldn't find them. And? The helmets are all in Ren's cabin. And? And I found this. Ash, that's the Dominosi net. The one they used to capture Isra. What the hell? Auto, where are Varian, Isra, and Ren? Current whereabouts unknown. Classified? I told you it was a secret mission! I do not think so, little warrior. Why would the net be here? Have any of you seen it before? No. It was next to a bag with a fingerprint lock. Ash, are you saying they brought it with them? I think so. Little warrior, what did the net do? I saw when they took Isra. She went all stiff and couldn't move, and they packed her into a ground transport and sped away with her and- Ren had to track her on foot because the net disabled her chip. He followed their trail from the ground, and we followed him. The net disabled her chip. They've gone! They wouldn't just leave us, would they? I think they would. They have taken a great risk. So, who's gonna call it in? What are you talking about, Varys? Well, we've gotta tell someone. We can't just ignore it. Sooner or later, the President's people are gonna realize they're gone. And if they find out we knew and didn't say anything, we're as good as lab fodder. They left us behind. We'd only slow them down, Shiv. I always said they think they're better than us. They're only out for themselves, and the rest of us can rot. Ferris, I respect you, but if you report this, I'll kill you. <laughs> You're that loyal, Pax? I won't say anything either. If they've been captured, then... But I really don't think they have. It comes to this. Do they have reason to escape? Yes. yes. I guess. We all have. If Isra's gone, she had reason to go. Simple. If this is so, do we want to be the reason for their failure? No. No. Look, if they have reason to go, then I want them to get out. I agree. I fight for them in battle. I will fight for them in this as well. Are you all insane? They're gone. They left us. We don't owe them anything. Faris, they have good reason to leave. We know what they go through. Well, we can guess. Raya's right. They go through enough. If they found a way out, then- We all go through hell in this place. How many of us have we lost while all three of them are still walking around? Not just walking. But walking faster, fighting better, getting stronger, while we struggle to hold on. They've just proved how little they care about us, and now we're meant to put ourselves at risk to cover for them? I see your point, Ferris. But if we said something and they brought them back... They'd be punished. Badly. I wouldn't be able to look them in the eye ever again. If anyone thinks they're going to say anything to the president, I'll fight them. We'll cover their escape and maybe one day we'll escape too. 
Be careful, Shiv. You're about to go all battle crazy on us. Only if you say something, Faris. Oh, <sighs> all right. I won't say anything. Not if the rest of you aren't. But you're all crazy. <sighs> I hope they make it. I just... I can't believe they'd go. What are we going to tell the North Jackrins? Not our department. We know nothing. We say nothing. Sooner or later, something will trigger the alarm, and at that point, we'll be told what to do anyway. I'm going to take this net back, okay? Good. I'll go with you. <sighs> what are we going to do in the meantime? <laughs> Cook the lizard? In Season 2, Interlude 2 of The Deck's Legacy, you heard Raki Sharma as Shiv, Danny Scott as Ash, Danielle Ellett as Faris, Reginald West as Hain Doss, Stevie Skinner as Raya, Ray Whitty as Pax, and Emily Inkpen as Auto, with music by Alan Stroud. Season 2 was recorded at Orpheus Studio in London by Richard Campbell. The Dex Legacy is written by me, Emily Inkpen, and produced by Alternative Stories. If you enjoyed that episode, please like, subscribe, and leave a review. It really does help. If you would like to support The Dex Legacy, you can. Just visit www.thedexlegacy.com forward slash support for links and details. 